What's up guys, Jason here. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Zero Texture Cane Farm. This farm works on 0.17 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you a ton of sugarcane. In this farm, sugarcane will be grown and harvested every few seconds. By the way, sugarcane can be used to make books, fireworks, and traded with librarian villagers to get emeralds. For this farm, all you'll need is 4 chests, 6 hoppers, 2 water buckets, 1 kelp, 1 sugarcane, 4 sand blocks, 5 glass panes, 1 lever, 2 composters, 1 dispenser, 3 pistons, 1 sticky piston, 5 redstone torches, 1 redstone repeater, 7 ladders, 1 sign, 1 trap door, 1 slab, you guys can use any type of slab that you want, 22 redstone, 14 glass blocks, and finally about a stack of saw blocks, you guys can use any type of saw block that you want. By the way, a couple of examples of saw blocks are cobblestone or wood planks. The first step is to take some saw blocks. You guys can use any type of saw block that you want. Now place down two, one, two, then place one over here and one over here. Now break the center block. The next step is to come to the front. Now place a lever over here and a redstone torch at this spot. Then place a redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Now place a redstone at this spot. That should create a redstone clock. Once you guys have created this redstone clock, fill this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place two blocks over here and two over here. Then place a sticky piston at this spot. Once you place a sticky piston, it should extend this way. The next step is to place a sand block in front of the sticky piston and two sand blocks on top of the extended portion of the sticky piston. Those sand blocks will cause cup to grow every single second in this farm. The next step is to place two blocks over here and two over here. Now place three at this spot, two over here, three over here, two at this spot, two over here, and finally two over here. By placing those blocks, we will be able to prevent our sand from moving out of the farm. The next step is to place a block at this spot and a piston on top. Make sure this piston is facing this way. That piston will automatically harvest all the kelp that is generated in this farm. The next step is to place three blocks over here, block at this spot, and three over here. Then place three blocks over here, another three over here, and two at this spot. Then repeat that on this side as well. Place three blocks over here, three over here, and two at this spot. Once you guys are done placing all those blocks, place a slab over here and a trap door in front. This trap door will allow you guys to easily replant the kelp if it ever breaks in this farm. Now crouch down and place a block in front of the trap door. The next step is to place a block over here. Now crouch down and place two chests at the spot. One, two. Then come inside here. Now break this block. Then crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure that hopper funnels towards the chest. You guys can tell the hopper is flying towards the chest because the nozzle of it should be facing that way. That hopper will collect all of the cup that is generated and fall into this chest. Once you guys have placed that hopper, place two glass panes over here. Those glass panes will prevent kelp from getting shot out of this farm while still allowing kelp to be picked up by the hopper. The next step is to come to the top of the farm, now place water in the slab, then open this trap door, now place a sign at the spot. By placing that sign, we will be able to ensure that the water flows correctly. Once you have placed that sign, place a kelp on top of this sand block. Now close the trap door. The next step is to come over here, now crouch down and place two hoppers below the chest. Make sure the nozzles of those hoppers are pointing downwards. Now crouch down and place a composter below each hopper. Then place a dispenser at the spot. Make sure the dispenser is facing this way. Now come over here, crouch down and place two hoppers next to the dispenser. Make sure the nozzles of both those hoppers are pointing towards the dispenser. This will be the bone meal conversion system of this farm. How it works is kelp will first be funneled from that hopper into this chest. From this chest, each of those hoppers will funnel kelp down into each composter. Whenever a composter is full of kelp, it will convert the kelp into bone meal. Then the hopper below it will send that bone meal down into this dispenser. By the way, the reason why this bone meal conversion system has two composters is because one composter is not fast enough to keep up with all the kelp it has produced. The next step is to come behind the farm. Then place a block at this spot and two redstone over here. Now place a block at this spot, then come over here and place down a redstone torch. Then place a block on top of this redstone torch and a redstone torch on top of this block. Then place a block on top of this redstone torch and a redstone torch on top of this block. Once you have done that, place two blocks over here and two redstone on top. 
It's really important that you guys do this redstone system correctly. That redstone torch should be powered off, that one should be powered on, and that one should be powered off. The next step is to come to this side of the farm. Now place seven ladders over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By placing those ladders, you guys will be able to easily replant kelp if it ever breaks. The next step is to break this block that is in front of the dispenser. Now replace with a sand block. Then break these three blocks. One, two, three. Now turn this way. Then place down two chests. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure the hopper funnels towards the chest. You guys can tell the hopper is flowing towards the chest because as you guys can see here, the nozzle of it should be facing that way. That hopper will collect all the sugar cane that is generated in this farm and funnel into the collection's chest. The next step is to crouch down and place water inside this hopper. Once you have placed the water in that hopper, place a sugar cane on top of this sand block. The next step is to place a block over here, then place two pistons on top. One, two. Make sure both of those pistons are facing this way. Those pistons will automatically harvest all the sugar cane that is generated in this farm. The next step is to crouch down and place two glass blocks over here, then place three over here. Once you guys have placed those glass blocks, place three glass blocks over here, three over here, and finally three over here. The next step is to place three glass panes at this spot. Those glass panes will prevent sugar cane from getting shot out of this farm while still allowing the harbor to pick it up. The next step is to come to the back of the farm. Now place two redstone at the spot, one, two, then place four redstone over here, one, two, three, four. After placing those four redstone, turn over this direction, then place a redstone at the spot, then break this block. By breaking that block, we will be able to prevent redstone from getting activated by that lever. Now place three redstone over here, one, two, three, and a block at this spot. Once you have placed that block, place a redstone torch on top. As you guys can see there, that redstone torch should become powered off. The next step is to come over here. Now place two blocks over here and a block at this spot. Once you guys have done that, place two redstone over here. By placing that redstone, we will be able to connect the redstone signal from the redstone clock all the way over to these pistons. The next step is to come back to the front of the farm. Now place three redstone over here. One, two, three, and two over here. One, two. By placing that redstone, we will be able to connect the redstone signal from the redstone clock to the dispenser. That will cause the dispenser to dispense bone meal whenever bone meal is funneled inside of it. Whenever bone meal is dispensed, the sugar cane will instantly grow. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you guys can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here, you guys should have your kelp chamber. Down here, you guys should have your sugar cane chamber. This side of your farm should be open like this. Make sure you guys did all the redstone correctly. The back should be open like this. Make sure you guys did all this back redstone correctly. Fine, this side of your farm should be open like this. Make sure all of your hoppers funnel in the correct directions and make sure you guys did all this redstone correctly. How this farm works is whenever you guys flick that lever, it will activate the redstone system. That redstone system will cause a sticky piston to move sand back and forth, which will cause the kelp to update and grow every single second. At the same time, the redstone system will move that piston back and forth, which will cause kelp to automatically be harvested whenever it grows. All of the harvested kelp will get pushed by that water stream into this hopper and into this chest. From that chest, these two hoppers will funnel the kelp into the composters. Whenever a composter is full of kelp, it will convert the kelp into bone meal. Then, these hoppers down here will funnel the bone meal into the dispenser. Whenever bone meal is funneled into this dispenser, the redstone system will cause it to automatically get dispensed at the sugarcane. That will cause the sugarcane to instantly grow. Whenever the sugarcane grows, it will automatically be harvested by those pistons. Then, the resulting sugarcane will be collected by the hopper and funneled into this collection's chest. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first flick this lever. Now just wait. Kelp will get grown and harvested every single second, then get put into those composters. Whenever those composters are full, they will create bone meal, which will then be dispensed onto the sugar cane. Whenever sugar cane is bone mealed, it will grow instantly, then get harvested and funneled into the Clarkson's chest. In this farm, sugar cane should grow and get harvested every few seconds. By the way, you guys should only have this farm on whenever you're standing near it. If you guys are going to leave the area or leave the game, you'll need to turn it off first to prevent it from breaking. If this farm does not work for you, then check to see if you made it on a chunk border. If you guys made it on a chunk border, you'll need to remake it so that it's on one chunk. Another thing you guys should check for is if any sand is below the sticky piston. If any sand has fallen below the sticky piston, you'll need to break it. Also, check to see if you guys did the redstone correctly. It's important that you guys do all the redstone correctly to ensure that everything works properly. 
If you guys ever notice that the top water in your farm is not flowing properly, then try turning the farm on and off. If the bottom kelp in your farm ever breaks, all you guys need to do is come up here, then replant it. I hope y'all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Zero Tick Sugarcane Farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.